In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make project timeline or a Gantt chart easily in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added six months starting from Jan to June 2020. And then you can add your task details here. And then I have given the, the time frame. You can see here starting from Jan till March. And you can add the task details on the top of this uh, timelines and then i have given four milestones here you can see the first milestone is starting in jan then second milestone in in march then april may and then the last one in june i have just put an icon with success so you can do this uh, like this a simple way in powerpoint you don't need to have expert knowledge in excel or in microsoft project to do this and then I have added one more where I have not provided any milestones. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert text box. I'm going to add the header. I'm just saying project timeline, GAN chart, center align, add some good font maybe i can use century gothic make it bold increase the size and put it from this end to this end you can see here and then you can add some detailed text so you can add some detailed text equals L-O-R-E-M within brackets one so if you say two three or four whatever it will give that many number of times the text so this is the latin text and then i'm just going to increase the width center align again the same font century gothic reduce the font size give some gray color and put it here if you want you can just make this as a underline also something like this then go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second one which is rectangle rounded corners draw it depending on your requirement and make it fully curved something like this shape outline you can give some gray color and shape fill make it no fill or if you want you can put it white color also and then let me just increase the weight of this one maybe two quarters something like this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the line from the center hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line till here and this also i'm going to give the same color and the weight you can give it the same weight right mouse click go to format shape and then you can make it a less transparent something like this you can see here let me just add some text here go to insert text box add your task here put it again in the center center align give the same color or different color you can give again i'm going to use the same font which is the century gothic reduce the font size and put it exactly in the center then I'm going to add the months here. Now it's up to you how many months, five, six. So go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle again, make a smaller one. You can see here something like this. Let me just select this, only this part. You can see here I'm just going to highlight only this part. And then let me just bring it down. So this one also I can give some light color here and shape outline make it no outline and here I'm going to type for example Jan 2020. Color of the font I'm going to use black you can see here again century gothic reduce the size if you want you can make it bold press ctrl D you can see here or i can use later on also first let me just add the the task here now go to insert shapes i'm going to select the line so this is the timeline i'm going to draw hold the shift key you can see here this one line i have created now this line i can give any color and increase the weight maybe you can see four quarters 
or you can go and increase further from here also maybe I can use six also and then you can see here uh, the begin arrow type and end arrow type so here I can just select maybe this much can you see here the diamond arrow and here if you want you can change the size also let it be the same size and end arrow type also I'm going to select this one so you end up getting like this and then you can just place it on top of the line and then go to insert text box you can add some detail add detail task here again century gothic reduce the font size you can see here make it more smaller 10 or 9 and put it exactly on top of this you can see here and again let me just bring it further down so that it will not clash with the the titles here on the top with the months now i'm going to select this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and just add one by one ctrl d only you can see here maybe one two three four five six tasks i'm adding and make sure that format align align left and again here distribute vertically so that you've got the equal spacing between the the task then i'm going to select one by one and right mouse click group i'm going to ungroup this then you can just go and change the color of these lines you can see here maybe i can use this and then hold the shift key you can reduce the size and move it wherever you want like this you can move it so this one i want to make it more smaller hold the shift key while doing that one so this one will start from here this is the text this one or you can use the the keypad arrow key also so that i can just reduce this move this one here give some different color whatever the best color which you feel this one i want to increase the size and again give some different color you can see here and this one i want to move it till the last and use some other colors here so this way you can just add the detail task and just change the direction or change the position you want now i'm going to add vertical lines for the months go to insert shapes select the line again from the center of the month hold the shift key till maybe this much part shape outline make it very uh less this one you can see here if you want you can just make it somewhat transparent also then i'm just going to select this you can see here i can group it press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then you can just add the different months you can see here one two three four five six months i have added here and then you can just change the text this is fab march april may and june so you can see here i have added six months and to di differentiate this one you can just add the one i'm going to add one rectangle here maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it very light color you can increase the transparency also and you can just send this to back press ctrl d so i'm just going to add this for every alternate uh, this one ctrl d this is the one and then make sure that this is all sent to back so you can adjust the timelines according to the the months provided here you can see here you can just uh, change this one and then at the bottom you can add the milestones to add the milestone you can go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select this diamond and then i want one milestone maybe i can give some green color shape outline make it no outline 
I want one milestone here press ctrl D I want one milestone after say example uh, two months again one more milestone here and then if you want you can add some icons also if you have for example there's a success of this project so I can just go down and scroll the required for example uh, uh, icon maybe this one insert you can see here bring this one here again reduce the size you can just add it here and this one also you can give some different color maybe some lighter or same color i can use it and then you can add the milestones here the text i'm just going to say milestone one again century gothic reduce the font size maybe 9 7 or maybe I'll just make it 8 so you can see here this is your milestone 1 this is your milestone 2 milestone 3 and this one I'm just going to say a success or whichever way you want you can just add the text and then you can insert shapes and from the lines you can use these lines you can see here this lines you can use it let me just move this uh, move this here a little bit the milestone you can see here this color i'm going to give some different line maybe light green color something like this and you can just change the direction so likewise you can just add the milestones again if you want to add a milestone here so i'm just going to select this hold the shift key reduce the size and then i can add the, this line by pressing ctrl d here let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to put it here and this one it should be somewhere here and click this you can just move this up you can see here something like this you can do it so likewise you can just add the milestone for this GAN chart that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye